Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, likers, test likers, new commenters, also old commenters, new subscribers, old subscribers, and generally anybody who watches these videos. Welcome back. Incoming! <laughs> So welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So I think I read the daftest thing in a long time and surprise surprise it came from 44 Teeth. 44 Teeth put an article out on their, their uh, must be on their website or something. And I've seen a few people sharing it and talking about it. And uh, the title was something daft like five reasons why you should keep your motorbike in your house and I, I automatically knew what type of article it was going to be you can tell sometimes with them and so I will say the security one it's, it's pretty much give and take it's security you know if someone breaks into your garage you're not going to hear it but if someone breaks into your house and steals your motorbike you're going to hear it but that was probably the only sensible thing that they had wrote. <laughs> there were things on it like climate change, you know, you put your tires through heat cycles and it ruins them and, you know, leaving it outside does the same. And you don't really have the same benefit leaving it outside as bringing it into the house. And if you have the money, you could put it into an air purified bubble. I've never heard a stupidest thing in my life. At that point, you haven't got a motorcycle, you've got a museum piece. And uh, one of the, the funniest ones was relationships. And it was saying like, oh, you know, if it's in your house, you're always looking at it, and you're always tinkering with it, so you grow a better relationship with it. Yeah, because the relationship that you're currently in with your girlfriend or wife will have probably ended. Now, that's not to say that the husband or boyfriend had lobbied his girlfriend for the past year to get his, motor, his little precious Yamaha or his little precious Honda into the living room. Where you're going? You going to the left? Have an ear for that. Having a bike in your in your your house grows a relationship with your bike. Yeah, because everybody else isn't talking to you. Plus, your house will stink of a rubber, b petrol, and c fucking oil. <laughs> and another one was if you don't te if you don't own a TV, you can sit and stir at your bike. Now I have to I have to admit that it has to be written. It has to be a piss take. It has to be. And then it was, what was it? It was something that they, what, near the end. Arm yourself with the five strongest facts to tell your wet sponge. So in case your wet sponge friends try to tell you why you shouldn't keep your motorbike in the house. Oh, it, was, it was just one of those pieces. And <laughs> I wrote on Facebook. You can hardly tell. This was probably wrote by a person who, well, wrote for people who ride their bikes about 100 mile a year. And spend the rest of it polishing them. Like, I get it, people like to look after their stuff, by God, you don't have to baby it. My bike, for example, has a little shelter that it sits under, doesn't sit all the way under, the, the shelter is not specified round the bike, it was just a shelter. The bike also gets the nicest and blingy things then again, it gets the best of parts and all that. But, if I were to say to my mother as I, I still live at home currently that's soon to change but that's another video if I was to say to my mother mommy I need to bring my motorcycle indoors I can almost sense my homelessness, my homelessness speeding up and I don't mean like speeding up to the point where it's like oh there's there's like speeding up that hard it'd be like a baseball bat to the face so it's it, it, it is laughable, actually. It, it, it just... Oh! Guys, guys, ladies and gentlemen, it really got to me. That... 
I get people do it. I get it. I, I have friends that have their motorcycles in the house and it is a talking point if you're ever in. But it's a talking point for about five minutes when they've told you every bloody bolt on that they've bought for it. <laughs> what I'll do is, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to do a video. I'll, I'll do a video. I'll post it up after this one goes up. So keep an eye out for it. And I'll ask my girlfriend, what would she say or what would she... What would she say if I asked to bring my motorcycle indoors? I, I, I would love to hear. I would love to hear what she says. I don't know if I'll have to duck before she slaps me. But I'll, I'll put it up after this video. So I'll put it up as a, a YouTube short. See what she says, because it would be hilarious. Oh, we're back to the shilling, shilling. Cue ahead, which means idiots ahead. Started to prefer my little city cut through now. <laughs> Stealing with this every day gets a bit exhausting. Yeah, so it'll be interesting if you've read the article. What did you think of it? Because. I thought it was a joke. I tend to stay well clear of uh, 44 teeth. I can watch one or two, but uh, it's, it's like some, some other content, you know, I just... It was good at the start, and then it just got pure pish. But let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Don't worry, I'm not spamming you. I'm just racking in the videos at the minute. As always, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit, avoid the West Link at any time of the day if you're in Northern Ireland. Incoming! <laughs>